Okay, three point charges lie along the x axis as shown in figure 2. Calculate the magnitude and direction of the total electric force exerted on Q2. Okay, uh, so we need to pay attention. Uh, this is asking about uh, total electric force. Okay, total electric force is F. Uh, F. Yeah, and then another thing is this one on Q2. Uh, on Q2. So we only draw the force on Q2. That's it. Uh, don't draw the force on other charge. Only draw the force on Q2. Uh, this is the most important one. Okay. okay and then the question also asks for uh, he asked for the magnitude and direction okay of total actually total is the you know uh, sigma uh, resultant uh, is resultant uh, so actually total total electric force is the resultant force uh, because uh, on Q2 there are not only one force there are uh, several forces acting on q2 we would we need to find the resultant force on q2 okay so first of all uh, let us uh, draw yeah draw the forces okay involved uh, to draw the forces uh, we need to know about this one okay we need to know about this one okay for electrostatic force um, okay if you have uh, unlike charges positive and negative charge positive and negative charge opposite charge uh, then it is attractive force attractive force between them yeah? positive negative if positive positive negative negative like charges same charges yeah same sign uh, then they repel each other yeah uh, the forces is away from each other see that uh, repulsive force okay if opposite charge is attractive force if same uh, like charges repulsive force so and um and this force always exists in pairs, yeah. It never exists singular singularly. It always exists in pairs, and they have they are equal in magnitude but opposite direction. Okay. So you see, uh, let us identify first what are the forces involved in all these three charges. Okay. So let's look at between Q one and Q two. Uh, both of these are same sign, same sign, same sign. They repel each other, isn't it? Uh, they repel each other so we can say they repel each other okay so on on q1 it is actually uh, f21 uh, because uh, 2 repel 1 yeah force 2 on 1 and then on q2 it is uh, f12 uh, ah okay uh, f12 okay Okay, so repel each other. And then uh, how about between 2 and 3? Uh, 2 and 3, they are uh, opposite sign. Opposite sign, they're attractive. Uh, attractive. So let's draw it out. Attractive force. So uh, uh, attractive. Uh, both of them are attractive. Yeah, because uh, opposite sign. Isn't it? Uh, different sign. Different sign, attractive. Same sign, repel. Opposite sign, attract. Uh, so uh, on Q two, on Q two, this one should be, this one should be uh, F three two, F three on two, and then on Q three, this one should be F two three, two on three, uh, two on three, uh, F three two, F two three. Uh, okay, and then uh, lastly between one and three, one and three, what force we have? Um, uh, this one is a uh, positive negative yeah? between 1 and 3 is positive negative opposite sign opposite sign they're attractive also uh, at attractive also so uh, the attractive also uh, this is between 1 and 3 so on 1 it is uh, f f31 okay f31 and f3 on 1 and then on 3 it is f1 uh, 1 3 uh, f1 3 f1 on 3 uh, okay uh, on 3 it is f1 f1 3 f1 on 3 uh, okay so let's say um, uh, let's say the question now the question asks to find 
resultant force on Q2. So uh, this is the one. Uh, yeah. So this the question asks to find the force on Q2. And uh, then, then this is the one. And uh, then this is the force you need to draw. These two force. These two force. Okay. Uh, these two force. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, so if let's say I change the question, I, I ask about uh, ask about uh, 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 resultant force on Q1. Uh, then then uh, you need to draw these two forces. Uh, F. Uh, you know. Uh, let me draw. Uh, let me write it out. Okay. Let me write it out. Uh, let's say the question asks to find uh, resultant force on Q1. And uh, then is F21 and F31. Uh, these two forces. Uh, resultant force on Q1. Uh, let's say Q1. And uh, then these two, these two forces, F21 and F31. If now the question is resultant force on Q2. Uh, so you just draw, you just draw the F12 and F32. No need to draw all other forces. You understand? Uh, this is resultant force on uh, Q2. Uh, then if the question asks for to find resultant force on Q3, uh, then you just draw resultant force on Q3. You just draw the forces F13 and F23. Uh, no need to draw all the other four forces. Understand? Uh, okay. So uh, this are, is the way to do the questions. Okay. So be careful with this statement. On who? On which charge? Uh, this question is on Q2, so we only focus on Q2. Don't draw F21, don't draw F2, F31, F13, and F23. No need to draw. Just draw these two forces, F12 and F32. Okay, let me draw it out again. Let me draw it out again. Ah, I draw it out for you already. Okay, uh, so only draw the force on. Q2. So we only pay attention to F12 and F32. We no need to consider all other forces. Uh, only these two forces, we want to find the resultant force uh, for this F12 and F32 only. Uh, yeah? find, that means we want to find the resultant force for uh, on Q2. Uh, yeah? Resultant force on Q2. Okay? But before we find the resultant force, we need to find out what's the value of F12 and also what's the value of F32. Let us find it out. Let us calculate. Yeah, let us calculate. Uh, so F12, uh, we the formula of uh, the code, uh, electrostatic force is this one. Yeah, using this formula, KQQOR square. Uh, okay. Uh, K Q1, uh, this is uh, between 1 and 2, so it's Q1, Q2 over, over R12 square. Uh, if F32, that is between uh, two Q2 and Q3. Uh, so now, uh, so I write it over here also because we want to find out the value. Uh, this is K Q3, Q2 over R32 uh, square. You want to put R23 or R32 is the same, yeah? You want to put Q2, Q3 or Q3, Q2 is the same. The sequence not important, yeah? The sequence not important. Okay, uh, so now substitute the value, okay? What's the value of K? K is uh, electrostatic constant exponent 9. You can find this value in the list of constant provided, yeah, in the exam. List of constant, you can find out what's the value of K. Uh, remember, don't take the Boltzmann constant, not this value, not the 1.38 uh, exponent negative 23. It is the, the K for Coulomb's law is below here. Uh, constant of proportionality for Coulomb's law. Uh, this is the one, K equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Uh, this is the one, the K, 9 exponent 9, that's the value. Okay, 9 exponent 9. So not remember, not this value, 1.38, but 9 exponent 9. Uh, 1.38 is for semester 1. Semester 1. Uh, this one, 9 exponent 9, is for semester 2, for Coulomb's law. Okay, uh, now 9 exponent 9, let's substitute the value. Yeah. Now let's calculate, let's calculate, uh, k is 9 exponent 9. Now what is Q1? Q1 is a positive charge, Q1 is 2 Coulomb, okay, already in SI unit, Coulomb, so no need to change anything. So it's uh, 2 Coulomb, and then how about Q2? Q2 also a positive charge. Uh, Q2 also positive charge, so it's 4 Coulomb. Yeah, 4 Coulomb. Just put 4. 
okay and then r r is the distance between q1 and q2 what's the distance between q1 and q2 it is three centimeter oh centimeter so be careful with the centi is not si unit so you need to change to meter okay uh, be careful with all the units all right so it's a uh, three i remember change to change centi is negative exponent negative two centi is exponent negative two uh, change to change to si unit and remember you must have square the distance you have square many students forget about the square here they just put r and they forget about the square the r you have square understand okay now next step is we just calculate uh calculate the value out of this so what i get is what you should get is okay the value is 8 exponent 8 exponent 13 newton okay what's the direction the direction is to the right uh, or towards q3 i can write to the right okay uh, that's uh, f12 now we need to find the f32 calculate also uh, before we find the resultant force okay so again k is 9 exponent 9 I got from list of constant q3 q3 is a negative charge okay q3 is a negative charge do we need to put the negative sign yeah in fact q3 is uh, negative six column negative six column here you put six column but you, you should know that this is a negative charge so q3 is actually negative six column so do we put uh, do we put the negative sign here do we put negative six no this is modulus ah modulus so what is mean by modulus means uh, always positive value uh, we just want the magnitude you know this is just the magnitude magnitude uh, just a positive value okay so for for q for q3 uh, it, which is a negative uh, you know uh, in the notes i also mentioned already i mentioned in the notes that uh, for vector for vector when we calculate the magnitude uh, we ignore the sign on the charge yeah ignore the sign on the charge uh, so if you've got negative charge you just uh, remove the negative sign because we just want to find the magnitude uh, we just want to find the magnitude so this is a modulus so it's always positive value so the charge is negative sign so we uh, remember uh, just um, the uh, ignore ignore the negative uh, ignore the negative sign for for charge uh, ignore the negative sign for uh, q3 yeah ignore the negative sign for q3 uh, so don't put the negative sign there because mod modulus is always positive value so the charge here you just put a positive value okay uh is negative six i put six uh six enough okay ignore the negative sign now how about q2 q2 is a positive charge um it's four column okay so it's just four column that's it uh okay four column all right next uh next uh, what's the distance between them distance between uh two q2 and q3 uh so divided by the distance between q2 and q3 which is five centimeter again you have to change to si unit uh si unit centi is exponent negative two exponent negative two uh centi okay and then you need to square don't forget the square uh, many students forget about the square okay now calculate the value calculate the value 9 exponent 9 multiply 6 multiply 4 divided by uh, 5 exponent negative 2 square okay uh, okay so the answer i get is 8.64 uh, 8.64 exponent exponent 13 uh, 8.64 uh, exponent 13 newton uh, this one direction is also to the right 
to the right because uh, opposite sign q2 and q3 opposite sign they attract each other so q2 is being attracted by attracted by q3 but q2 is being repelled by q1 because same sign they repel each other okay attracted by q3 but repelled by q1 okay so okay both of these forces same direction to the right so we total we add up uh, yeah yeah if same direction we add up if opposite direction we minus yeah okay uh, so now we can find the resultant force resultant force uh, okay, let's calculate. Now, resultant force on Q2 is, uh, so uh, normally we put like this, uh, direction. Uh, the positive and negative sign you can put as direct, uh, positive and negative sign you can put as direction. You go into the, uh, we know that uh, this vector, let, let me draw it out, the vector. Uh, okay, the vector, remember the vector, the directions. Uh, okay, again, another one, another one, uh, yeah. So, going to the right is positive, going to the left is negative, going upward is positive, going downward is negative. Uh, so, direction, uh, forces that going to the right, forces that going to the right is uh, positive force, uh, go, forces going to the left is negative force, going upward is positive force, going downward is negative force. Uh, okay because this is about vector vector no vector normally use the uh, positive and negative signs for uh, direction uh, this is a vector direction we use the positive negative sign positive negative sign for direction uh, okay only when you um, calculate the magnitude of force we don't only when we calculate the magnitude of force, we the charge we ignore the negative sign. Okay, we only when we calculate the magnitude of force, we the charge we ignore the negative sign. Uh, but when we determine the direction, the positive and negative sign very important. Uh, very important. That one you cannot remove the negative sign. Okay, we we use the positive and negative signs for the direction. Forces going to the right is positive. Forces going to the left is negative. Uh, for forces going upward is positive. Forces going downward is negative. Okay. Right now, I have uh, these two forces going to the right. What I can say is, uh, forces going to the right is a positive force. Both of these are positive force. We don't have forces to the left. We don't have forces to the left. So, we don't have negative force. Okay. Uh, so, here I can just write, uh, this one is positive force, positive force. Okay. So, both of them uh, uh, will be total up in the end. Okay, let us do it. Okay, so it, it is uh, F12 uh, is positive, and also another one, uh, this F32 also positive. Uh, F32 also positive. Uh, since both of them are uh, positive, so they become total up. Uh, okay, uh, why are they positive force? Uh, why are they positive force? Because both of them going to the right. Uh, so they, they, that's why they are positive force okay okay so let us uh, substitute the value and see and calculate uh, okay and then uh, plus is 8.64 exponent uh, 13 okay and then what do we get what do we get 8 exponent 13 plus uh, 8.64 exponent 13 um, the answer is uh, 1.664 exponent uh, 14 uh, exponent 14 Newton uh, what's the direction uh, is a positive value right uh, it's positive value that means the resultant force resultant force also in a positive direction uh, that means to the right uh, the direction is to the right uh, the direction is to the right because we have a positive resultant force positive resultant force means the positive sign here the positive sign here means direction to the right uh, okay so is that the answer let, let us check it out uh, yeah the resultant force on q2 is 1.664 exponent 14 newton to the right 
uh, to the right. So I am right. Uh, okay. So okay, that's it for this question. So remember, check it out. What the force on which charge is it? A force on Q two? Is it a force on Q one or is it force on Q three? Right now, the question is forces on Q two. So we just draw these two forces F one two and F three two. But if I change the questions, let's say forces on Q one. Uh, then you draw F21 and F31. Determine the resultant force of F21 and F31. If the question asks for forces on Q3, uh, then you draw F13 and F23 on Q3 instead and find the resultant force between these two forces. Uh, I think this resultant force will end up have a negative sign. The resultant force should also go into the left. Okay? Uh, so that's all I want to say about these questions. I hope you understand and uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Okay, see you again in the next video.